Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you. First and foremost, I want to thank Jason over at Northwest Sawyer. I went and met Jason earlier this month. We had a great chat. It just happened to be that we we're only about three hours apart and, and I hadn't realized how close we were. So I happened to be around, stopped in, we had a great chat and Jason gave a really nice plug at the beginning of his latest video. And I'm gonna drop a link at the end of this video for you to go check it out if you haven't seen it. And if you haven't subscribed to Jason's channel, you really should. It's an awesome channel. So thank you, Jason. And for all of you that came over from Jason's channel to check out mine and subscribe, thank you. It's greatly appreciated. I love having you here. So thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. Now, it's also Thanksgiving weekend, and you might have noticed this video is dropping a little early. <laughs> Ever since I went back to work, which hopefully won't be for too long, I've only been putting out videos on Fridays, but I just happened to get some time in to be able to get this video out for you. So I'm dropping it now to give you this one and I will still get a video out for you on Friday. So there you go. Okay, let's get to it. Now, one of you made a comment recently that you thought the mill was running a little bit slow, didn't sound quite right. There was definitely a problem with the mill and you're gonna wanna stick around and find out about it. So watch this one to the end because I will tell you what happened. Something definitely happened. In the meantime, we're gonna get this Ponderosa pine milled up into one by six paneling and then I'm gonna have some trouble. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for a little bit and then I'm gonna talk about what happened and some of the challenges that we faced, how we got it fixed, and how we managed to keep going. So without further ado, let's get this thing milled down. All right, we're getting this one milled down now. 
just about down to the end. Still running okay, not great. I don't know if you can hear it yet, but we're running okay. So we're gonna get this cat milled off and then we'll roll up that next log. And you know, these logs have been on the ground a while, so it was easy to pull the bark off of them and kind of clean them up. And one of the things you do have to do when you roll a log like this up onto the deck, when you've got gravel that you're rolling the log on is you just got to take your hand and just rub it up and down the log or a brush or something just to make sure that there are no rocks left you know embedded in the log itself because if a rock is embedded in the log it will damage a band in a hurry so check the pith got it all centered we're going to start milling it up again and i'm going to let this run for a little bit longer i'll put some music in there for you but Pay attention to what's going on, and when things start to really go wrong, I'm going to turn the music down and come back to you and tell you what happened and what I had to do to fix it. All right, we got the band changed, <laughs> checked everything out, everything seemed fine, but it really wasn't one, it really didn't want to run right. So I fired it up and then it started to die on me. And I started kind of messing with it. I'd fire it up and it would die or I'd fire it up, I'd try to make a cut. And the more I ran the mill, the more I began to have a problem. And you're gonna notice here in a little bit that I just shut it down. Now, what happened was the fuel filter got plugged and it was just acting up. Every time I tried to get into the power on it, it would just start to die on me. And, you know, fortunately from a past life, I knew that that could be a fuel filter. Sometimes, you know, in your car, you just lose power trying to go uphill or something. Oftentimes it's a fuel filter. So in this case, that's what it was. and when you really kind of hear it start to die a lot on me which it will shortly uh, it was just that the fuel filter was plugged and the way i checked that out was i pulled the plug on the right hand side of the motor it's fairly easy to pull you just pull the cap off pull the plug out and i looked at the plug and it was really gray in color gray white actually that is a sign of an engine running lean so i knew right away it had to be the fuel filter so we put it all back together, pulled the fuel filter out. It actually had fuel coming through it. You could blow the fuel right out of it. But knowing that that 
most knowing that running lean like that was most likely due to a fuel filter we shut everything down and headed to the nearest town which was about 30 miles away bought a new fuel filter <laughs> drove all the way back and put the new fuel filter in and lo and behold everything was running great again so I, I wanted to note too that you've noticed that my camera angle has changed and I only have the one camera angle that's actually because the main camera battery died and I had no idea I was so busy trying to figure out what was going on with this thing and the way it was running that I just didn't even notice that the camera battery died on me so that's why you're only getting one viewpoint here so I'm gonna stop yakking at you here for a minute and listen Come on, baby. That's not good. I'm wondering if I got a fuel filter that's plugging up. Okay, here we go. Oh, doesn't want to run. And that's it right there, folks. It just died on me. I couldn't keep going. I tried. I thought, oh, I'm going to give it a try. Nope, it wasn't going to work. So, had to get it fixed. That's the end of that story. Sorry I couldn't show you the rest of this. I was too busy trying to get this thing fixed. But thanks for watching, folks. Got another video coming out on Friday. Y'all have a great Thanksgiving. The old jar head out.